You are watching WatchMojo.com. My name is Malik Shaheed, your host. We are talking to my homie today who talks to us about his album and also working with the hottest producer in the game, Red One. Let's check this interview out. So the title of your album is called Movement. I, I like to move a lot and I believe that every move I do is meant to be. At the same time, the, the word movement like, is what I, I love that word because that's what I'm trying to create. I'm trying to come with something different, a new flavor, and uh, I want to recruit as many people as I can. You signed to Red One, you're the first artist on his label, and Red One is a big producer for Lady Gaga. What does he bring, or what did he bring that you didn't have that you were missing to take it to the next level? He's a producer, he, see, he has a vision, and we share the same vision, and he just let me bloom as an artist, and took the sound to another level. He's a genius when it comes to songwriting. Red One just took me to that level where I need to, to be as an artist, because you know, it's like everything. You need a good coach. If you're a good fo football player, you need a good coach to actually get there. Uh, so let's say he's my coach my and one of my best friends. You just recently uh, released your video with Akon. Tell us how you hooked up with Akon and tell us what the song in the video. Akon, wow, he's, he's like a big brother to me. I met him through Red One, of course, because they have been working a lot. I'm with Red One in the studio working on Dirty Straight. Situation dirty, dirty, dirty. And when I did, when did that, that hook, that seems like 66 under us. It felt so much Akon, you know, it felt. So we were like, okay, are we writing a song for you, Mohambi, or are we actually writing a song for Akon? Should we show this to him? So we sent it to Akon, and he calls back, like, oh, man, my brother, I love it, I love it, I love it, now we have to do it. No, I want to do it, Mohambi, it's yeah, his yeah. song. I want to support him, I want to do it, like, let's do it. When I came in the place, shorty, want to bring me and Brian look in the face, man, she would have made me. If I gave her the rope, man, she would have made me. It's crazy because when I moved out to LA three years ago, leaving everything behind in Sweden, like, I quit my job, I left everything. I was like, now I'm doing this. It was actually as a joke. I told my brother, like, I'm moving to the States and I'm going to work with Akon and I'm going to work with the biggest producers in the world. And, you know, you have to dream big. I know you have a video out with Nelly right now. Tell us about that video. The song Miss Me is actually was chosen as the first single in the UK. It's been a rough week, another dream please. I'm rocking the floor. It's out there, so I'm just happy that everybody gets to enjoy the song. It's gonna be in the album. We have a video, so who knows? Perhaps it's gonna become a single as well, so everybody can watch it on TV around the world. Could you possibly, exclusively, give me just a minute of your time, lady? We got some fan questions. We have Kelly from Montreal, and she would like to know who you would like to do a duet with. Like right now, today, I do duets every other day, you know? <clears throat> a lot of collaboration in the music business today. I did Quincy Jones, T-I-B-O-B, Far East Movement. But today, if I could choose, would be uh, Drake. He's a good friend today, and uh, we are thinking about doing something. We just need to get that opportunity. The fact that he came from Canada, took over the world, you know? Young guy from Toronto, working hard, hustling, doing his thing. That's what you're supposed to do, and I respect that. And not only that, also he brought something fresh to the music business, and that's what I'm trying to do, so we have the same vision. Could you possibly, exclusively, give me just a minute of your time? And we have a question from Le Mnupta from Ripanchini. And she wants to know how you came up with your dancehall style of music. It's not really dancehall, but it has those influences because I grew up with such a diversity, like dancehall music. Even in Congo, I mean, sometimes we get the songs even before Europe gets it because, you know, the pirates, and <laughs> illegal downloads and stuff. But actually, it's not dance. I would consider it being more of an African kind of vibe, you know, because they, they do go together. They are really close. Lady, Describe yourself in five words. Tall, young, hardworking, Afro Viking. I'm gonna show you how tall this guy is. I'm six <laughs> one. Stand up. Let them know. Let them know. This is six four right here, baby. Six four, <laughs> legit. Boom. You know what I mean? It's, it's not the, the videos. It's real. This is real. You know what I mean? 
Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate that, eh? Thank you.